thank God for so much. An amazing shout out to my man Matthew on the religion. You know, good question. You kept saying, what really is religion? And you know, you hear me and Mitty, man, talk about religion all the time and how we just don't care nothing about religion because we always talk about relationship with God. And religion, see, even when you look up religion, Matthew, you got so many. I really don't even like to debate about religion because when you look up religion, it's going to show you a ton of stuff. It's so many different beliefs, uh, so many different religions and and. The, I, I like to call them qualifications of a Baptist church. You know, qualification, are you Pentecostal, are you Baptist, are you Church of God in Christ? See, to me, religion don't have nothing to do with God, like I always say. Because when you look in the Bible, it was one-on-one. -on -one. It was personal relationships with God. That's why I say I'm called a relationship, not religion. Because I'm not religious. That's why I don't I don't hang around holding down people. I don't get caught in what people are doing. And he say this. See, a lot of people are following man. A lot of this religious stuff is man-made traditions, just, just to my opinion. That's, I, that's how I believe it. Because if God haven't stated it, I don't believe it. I only believe in the Word of God and all these traditions. And this is why people have so many conflicts. And oh, especially in Baptist church, you got you got big conflicts all that's been going on for years about Church of God and Christ, which we call Kajik and Baptist, and it need to be ran this way. Now church need to be ran this way. People are so caught up in the way that the church should be ran that they forget about how God said we're supposed to be. And P.P. Drawings made a, a great point. He said that's why God said he's coming back for the church. It didn't say he's coming back for Baptists. He's coming back for the Pentecostal, all these names. He said, I'm just coming back for the church. That's why I said when you look at Moses, Moses had a one-on-one -on -one relationship with God. David, Joseph. Man, you go on and on. You look at the relationship between people in the Bible with God. You don't look at the religion. Yeah, you think Jesus looked at the religion when he when he uh knew that, that the Samaritan woman and Jesus was a Jew? Jesus Jesus still talked to that woman because he didn't care about these different religions. See, Jesus was compassionate and he still is. He loved, he cared for people. See, people don't study and read the Bible. And there's so many people been following man for years because we can't do this in church. We can't do that. It's man-made traditions. Just like when I was talking about when when the men tell tells that a woman can't preach the word of God. All of these are traditions. Don't have nothing to do with God. And when you look at the Bible, God used women all the time. Jesus, come on, people. And we got this tradi these traditional things. You can't stand up and talk in the pulpit for a woman. You can't talk in the pulpit. Jesus never even really used the pulpit. He preached and teached wherever. See, these are man-made laws. You can't wear this type of hat to church. You can't sing in the choir because you got a hat on. Man-made traditions. Where do you see any of this stuff at in the Bible? It's not in the Bible. It's nowhere in the Bible. It's all about the relationship, and people don't get it. They more caught on religion, being religious. And when you look at Jesus, like me and me, the man always talk about, Jesus walked in with fellowship with the sinners all the time, invited to the sinners party. Jesus was concerned about salvation. Salvation is a personal relationship with God. That's one-on-one. -on -one. Salvation, fighting for your own salvation, like Brother Orange Flavor say, salvation. Salvation has nothing to do with being religious. Because this lady got married that I said that at that church I was talking about, I said you can go to church every Sunday and wind up in hell. Because if you don't have a personal relationship and be concerned about your salvation, ain't no use to trying to think you're going to see God. Because he tells us. It's not about our good works. It's not about how many Sundays you go to church out of the year. No, it ain't about all that. It's about the relationship. So I say look at David. When David was on the run from his enemies. Look, look at when David said he had the security blanket. He had the protection all around him. How God kept him from his enemies. That's personal, one-on-one -on -one relationship with God. Like I was talking about with Joseph. When Joseph was given up by his own brothers. God showed favor on Joseph and had his protecting arms all around Joseph. Well, Joseph couldn't be harmed. Man, look at the Hebrew boys. <laughs> Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Look at that, how God protected them out of the burning furnace. See, that's a relationship with God. See, I always say people are so caught up in being religious that religion is going to keep half of folks in hell because they can't get past religion. They think just because they go to church, that's enough. 
They think just because they pay their tithes, that's enough. They think just because they did something good for somebody, that's enough. But you got to keep reading the Bible and study. Religion is just these little, these little man-made traditions to me. So I don't even want to break down the, the definition of religion because it ain't going to sound right. And it, it, it's so many definitions of religion. That's why I say I don't care about religion. And people to this day always, man, you going to make sure I'm going to make me cuss her out. They going to make me lose my religion. And like I tell people, yes, I can lose my religion. I don't have no religion. I have a relationship. You cannot make me lose my salvation. I don't care who you are and what, how cold you think you are. You can't make me lose my salvation. Because once saved, all the way saved with me. I'm not no halfway Christian. I deal with a lot of stuff. I deal with the enemy on a daily basis. All around me, all the time. And I always just look to the hills from where my help comes from. And my help only comes from God. See, I have a personal relationship with God. That's why I said if I never went to church another day in my life, do you think I would go to hell for not going to church? When church is just a building, people make up the body of Christ. We so caught up in the building. We need a big building. We got to bring all the people in the building. And people getting these, some of these people getting these big buildings and there ain't nothing but hell on the inside of the building. It's going to be big buildings going to hell. Oh, people don't want to hear me talk like that. That's why it's so important to have a relationship like P.P. Drawings was saying. I like when y'all talk about the heart posture. Yeah, shout out to P.P. Drawings and Mini Man and Orange Flavor, how to clear. We keep it real. See, that's why it's so easy for me to look at my brother, Brother Ernest Walker, man, and listen to my brother P.P. Drawings. It's easy because they have a relationship with God. People are too religious. That's why I said, that's why you can't get the, the praise mom and, and dancing in some of these churches because of man-made tradition. Well, you can't praise God in my church. I don't play that in my church. Once again, they call it they church. Notice what I say, my church. It ain't your church. But matter of fact, I guess it is your church. And you got people really believing that it is your church. I feel sorry for people that follow a weak leader and they are being taught wrong. You better be, you, you better be concerned about your relationship with God. Religion is just religion. Religion, oh man, you see, you see Christianity, you see, uh, you see people say that uh, Catholic, you know, Church of God in Christ, non-denomination, AME, CME, you got all religions. I like what many man, I like that, brother. You say Christianity is not a religion. It's a relationship with God, and it's so true, bro. We just caught up in the building. We caught up in what, what's been going on for years and years. Like I said in the other video, you ask the average person right now, oh, I'm a Christian. They don't even know why they call themselves a Christian. They just call themselves a Christian because it seems like it's popular. That's the thing to do now. You see it all on people's pages, on, on websites and Facebooks. Oh, I'm a Christian. You see religion, Christian. Christian, other, Christian. Church of God of Christ, no denomination. Religion, just religion. That's why I say, I always say, don't call me. Baptists don't call me Pentecostal. Just say, hey, JT, you a child of God. And that's what I am. I'm not caught up in religion. Religion is not going to get me into heaven. But my salvation is. And how do I get that salvation? It's personal. One-on-one. -on -one. I don't need none of y'all to talk to God for me. I can talk to God personally. I can call him any time of the night, and he always does. Yeah, that's why I say it's too many people just being caught on what the preachers say. Well, the power, my pastor said you got to... You got to be religious and you know you got to pay your tithes to go to heaven and you got to do this, you got to do that. I'm not caring about what the pastor say. See, yo, what people don't understand, your job is when you get through being preached too, you need to go study for yourself to understand the word of God for yourself because you got some lying preachers that's lying to you in these days time. Oh yeah, don't be deceived by man, but know the word for yourself. Oh man, what did Paul tell us? God Almighty. Know the word for yourself, people. You listen to that. You listen to that what man say, what a woman say. They ain't God. Yeah. That's why I'm real cautious when somebody's prophesizing to me. I'm real cautious. Because I'm not caught up in what the prophet tell me. I'm caught up in what God tell me. If God ain't told me something personally, and this man or woman coming up to prophesy to me, I don't want to hear it. Because it's going to be fake. You can't prophesy something to me that God ain't told me first. That's, I'm sorry. I don't need you to go to God for me. I can go to God myself, and I have nothing against prophets. But I'm sick of people prophet lying. Like Jeffrey Jordan said, they ain't prophesizing. They prophet lying. 
Yeah, God used prophets and used them in a good way, but you got people doing their own will. Beware the false prophets. People are all about money in our day, the love of money, root of all evil. Religion. I lead a religion with the religious folks and the holding it down folks. I'm in the category, you put me in the, in the salvation category, the relationship. JT in the relationship, not the religion. I'm in the category with the relationship because that's what I want to be. I want to be following God and I want to be going through that gate that's going to heaven, not hell. I don't want to be deceived and following what man and woman is doing over on the other side. No. Salvation is more. Jesus taught more and more about salvation. God man. That's why he said he's more concerned about the sick, the people that need to be healed, not the people that's already wealthy and healthy. And I, he ain't, man, come on. You got people that Jesus got. There's some people in this world the Lord know he can't do nothing with. <laughs> they don't want to change. They're going to be hard-headed, and they're going to they gonna be on their way to hell, being stuck in their ways. But their personal relationship. See, I got mine. I got mine. I'm, I'm cautious on a lot of stuff. I make people mad because I don't be trying to make them mad on purpose, but I tell the truth. I don't need you to be prophesying something to me that God ain't told me. I'm sorry. I have a personal one-on-one -on -one relationship with God. I don't need you to go to God for me. I don't need everybody praying for me because some people will put some bad prayers up against you. Uh-oh, somebody mad because I said that. Well, I'm going to pray for you. No, you, you be cautious with who praying for you. Yeah, because a lot of people say they're going to pray for you. They ain't prayed for you not one time. And then some wishing bad on you. You don't believe you got people that'll pray bad stuff on you? Because you got people want to get even when the Lord says vengeance is mine. You got people want to get even with folks when they done done them wrong. No, I'm caught up in the relationship. Forget about religion. Yeah. I was looking up the definition on religion, and I said, I'm not even going, I'm not even going to get involved with that definition because it is a 50 million definitions on what religion is. Everybody think they're right and then everybody think somebody else is wrong. You got a conflict on religion. That's why I'm not going to debate about religion, but I will tell you I'm caught up on relationship. You want to follow religion? Hey, fine, do it. I'm a child of God. God coming back for his children. Yeah. And people think they're going to be excluded from, from a lot of stuff because they think they Pentecostal, they think they holding this, they think they causing this don't apply to them. God said he is coming back loud and clear, and everybody going to know. Ain't nobody excluded. That's why I'm talking about that secret rapture. Ain't no such thing as no secret rapture. And I don't care who agree with it. Ain't nothing secret about our God. It's laid out in the Revelation and it's laid out in Matthew What's going to happen? Loud, plain, and clear. Ain't no secret way out. And if you living at that time when he come back, you better hope you got it right with God. That's why he taught us about salvation, not religion. Come on, people, let's wake up. Like Paul said, let's wake up out of, this, out of this darkness and start living for God. Let's get out of this foolishness. Apostle Paul, oh, he's such a great teacher. Such a great teacher. Yeah, when you even look at Paul, See, this is why I say relationship. That's another one. Look at Paul when he was Saul, a persecutor. Saul was a persecutor of the Christians. Didn't care nothing about what Paul thought. But see, the thing about Saul at time when he was Saul, he thought what he was doing was right. But when, when he got recognized what he was doing wrong, see, he had to be taught. Jesus had to teach Paul the right way. But once see, when you look at the conversion on Apostle Paul now from Saul, he never went back to what he was. He started caring for the Christian, loving everybody, encouraging everybody, teaching and preaching the word of God. So once you are converted over, and what, why am I saying this about Paul? Because it was a one-on-one, -on -one, a one-on-one -on -one relationship. Had nothing to do with religion. That was Paul being converted over, personally. So you can look throughout the Bible and look at personal relationships. You can look at so many Bible stories on personal relationships. So when you tie this religion stuff in, people just, see, I like to say this to me, my opinion, religion is just man-made traditions. They got their own little organization set up, and they picking the do's and don'ts of what not to do in church. That's what religion is to me. And, you know, somebody ain't going to agree with that, but that's why I'm not caught up in it. If half of these churches could stop, stop being caught up in religion, the church would be better. See, we got too many laws, man-made laws on the inside of the church. That's why men don't want to see women preach. That's man-made law. God Almighty, you look at the Bible. Oh, 
women spreading the news, women, women preaching. Oh, if God can use a donkey, who are we to tell and say that a woman can't teach the word of God? A woman can't pray for me. A woman, she don't need to be singing in front of the church. A woman need to sit down. A woman need to be submitted to her husband and sit down and sit up. We take these scriptures out of content. A woman should remain silent. And people don't even look at what, what was going on at that time and who said it. God Almighty. See, we don't, we ignorant of the word. And we caught up in religion. Relationship is way more important. Women should remain silent. Women can't pray. Women can't teach. Oh, man. I feel sorry for these pastors that believe in that mess. Oh, like my boy Minnie Man say, you better wake up. The women are the church nowadays. It's these sorry men don't want to get up off their butt. Men can't even get along. Too busy criticizing. We stuck on religion. I don't need nobody praise dancing in my church. That, that's, that's not for my church. Come on, man. No, David, Dan, David danced out his clothes. We ignorant of the word. Danced out his clothes. I want to dance like David did for the Lord. I'm not physically saying I want to dance out my clothes in church, but I want that kind of praise inside of me. I don't know about nobody else. I want to dance like David. I get my praise on. But how can you get your praise on if you don't know nothing about God? And how do you know about God? You better read for yourself and get your personally one-on-one -on -one relationship with God. We can't do no we can't do no miming in the church. Tradition, tradition, religion, religion. But a relationship. See, that's why you got those pastors like my boy PP Drawings pastor just open. Hey, let's try this. Let's try that. Hey, open to the congregation, to the new ideas. They ain't stuck on tradition because they know it ain't about this tradition stuff. It ain't about what we can't do in church. They, they no. You gotta reach all the people. Why you think Jesus cared about the sinners? We don't even care about the sinners having day, have this time of this day because we too busy judging the sinners. Good God Almighty. When Jesus walked and was always fellowshipping with the sinners. Personal relationship. You think Jesus was sitting there with the sinners and, and telling them where you need to be Baptist, you need to be Pentecostal, you need to be Church of God in Christ. People, Jesus looked at us as individuals, as his children. Mm. He said, if you be ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you before my father. So that lets me know we got to have a personal relationship. And I, for one, ain't ashamed of God. And I will stand up and tell the truth on this relationship. It's personal relationship. Moses had an intimacy with God, one-on-one. -on -one. Think if you can get on the mountaintop and get that close to God like Moses did. God said, no man will see my face and live. So bright they had to put a veil over Moses' face. Can you get that close to God with religion? No. Relationship. And I'm out. God bless.